It rained on them pretty hard there yesterday. I know. <laughs> I was saving that for my limit today. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I, I checked it, and as soon as I checked it, I went back there, and then here you come, and the bass live was watching me, and you just wore them out for like two hours. That was me. I, I wore them out yesterday. <laughs> I know. See? <laughs> how, how many inches did you catch off of it? Uh, I caught... I caught two 17s and a bunch of like 15s. Yeah. Yeah, they were like smaller fish. Yeah, but I wanted to start with a limit right there. That's the biggest score I found. Yeah. What do you have? I have. I think I have 88. Yeah. Alright, guys, lines in. Gonna start out with a wheelie Senko six inch. Starting off with that because there's a, a frost bond that goes across, so don't want to throw my A rigs over there and get stuck early. I want to, you know, kind of stay out so I don't spook these fish. We're doing something quarter.
cast. Small ones. Alright guys, 15 inches. Seventeen inches.
was being smaller. Big smaller guy. That's definitely a call. This one's in the back bed as well, see? No, the night, today's the uh, nicest day out of the week, it seems like. Man, every day, every day was, man, it was just windy, you know? Little one. Yeah. That's a nice rig you got set up there. Oh, thanks. He gets around. Oh, <laughs> thanks.
Hey, sorry, I didn't see you there. Fifteen inches? Yeah. Oh no, we're fishing a tournament today. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm fishing my tournament. Are my you? Tournament to catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> the little ones though. Yeah. So fun though. Found a school fish. Three quarters.
if that's going to help. It came off of the neck, too. I got to keep changing up baits, I guess. I want some on a tailspin. Maybe. All right, guys, Good run. That's good. Eighteen and a half. Almost nineteen. Thank you. Check it out. Beauty out, guys. All right, guys. Good call. Nineteen inches. bit me. Man, I was really debating if I should run over here because I was on fish over there, but it's a small fish, so I decided to come back over here by the ramp to check it out. And sure enough, first cast of that corner was a fish. Good one, too. The bite today has been fairly good. Just a lot of small fish, you know. It's hard to come across a 17 inch. So I'm just throwing this glide bait. During practice, I had quite a bit of mud, so I decided to figure that try it out, you know. See if I can draw a big one out of this dock. I think I need to get rid of a 16.75. But honestly, I'm really happy with what I've got already. So no complaints at all. Just because, you know, I had two good bites today and they both came off. One got caught in the crossbar on that dock so it ended up coming off but other than that you know got that big fish right there near the end Yeah, let's go. 
Mommy. Ouch, I think they're so sharp. Maybe you can help? Man, this leg is just so fun, so much action. It's just uh, not a lot of big ones, that's for sure. Definitely reminds me of various. Uh, Day 16.
Alright guys, 1775, good call at the end. Long time no see. I know, right? Crushing it, huh? huh? Crushing it. Man, I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of dinks for me, man. just weeding through these little ones to try to get a quality fish but fortunately for us we got one good one so no complaints Waters Championship Top 10 Anglers. Come on out, guys. We appreciate you all following at home all year long. Uh, we couldn't do what we're doing without Yamaha Wright Waters, our Dakota Lithium Angler of the Year race, Motor Guide, Yak Gear, and we are scored on Tourney X. So what the Kayak Series is, is it's a five event series where the top five anglers make it to the championship. From after that, we have a Dakota Lithium Angler of the Year race where we award 50 men and women their place in the Bassmaster Championship. With 172 inches from California, Anthony Garcia. <laughs> Look at them choppers on this kid. Show them folks some teeth, brother. Good job, brother. Look at there. Look at that smile. Man, we love it. We love it, man. Dude, uh, you, you gave a really good speech yesterday that I wish we had time to do here. We appreciate the, the gratitude that you show. We appreciate you California anglers 
busting your hump to travel so far to qualify for these events. So just want to let you talk about your uh, couple of days real quick and then thank anybody that you want to at home. Yeah, thank you, uh, Steve. Uh, I had a pretty okay practice. Found some big fish, not a lot of fish. Uh, really got on them during the tournament. Uh, lost some key fish on day one, but brought that uh, good attitude on day two and was able to put up a pretty good bag. Uh, was caught, catching all my fish on an A-Rig and a 2.8 Kitek. Um, but yeah, no, I have a giant support system back home. My girlfriend, Amanda, my mom, dad, my little brothers, uh, Old Town, Irod, Dakota Lithium, all my sponsors. Uh, it takes a, a good support system to travel all this way and uh, super grateful for them. Yeah, it's one good thing about the kayak community. I always say it takes all of us, and it does. We help one another on the roads, lodging, places to stay, vehicle kayak repair. So it's really good to see you out here, and we appreciate everything that you do for us. Thank you very much. All right, so we'll get on into fourth place, taking home 3,000 bucks with 177 and a quarter inches. He was on the stage last year in Knoxville, Tennessee, another California angler, Damian Tao. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my, my little buddy called, we call him Stage. That's your new name, man, Stage. So, brother, we appreciate you. Uh, again, you, you sacrifice a lot to drive to, to these events because you're so far away. I'll just let you talk about uh, what, what, what it took for you and uh, everybody. Well, you can't see it on the deck of that kayak. Tell everybody what you caught those fish on. Oh, I had a great time out here. Uh, man, it fished a lot like home, and I caught all my fish on a flutter spoon, just rotating out. Uh, different size flutter spoons and just uh, giving them something a little different to see, different colors and stuff like that, but caught a ton of fish. It was beautiful fishery. Fish is just like one of our home lakes, so had a great time out here. You got anybody at home you want to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank my uh, my family and friends for the constant support and uh, uh, my sponsors that really helped me got here. You know, Kayak City, First Gen Fishing P-Line, and uh, Yak Bass Angler. Uh, also, Fresno, uh, 559 Fresno Bay and Tackle, uh, they really helped me out this year, so uh, thank, thank you to those guys. Damien, we appreciate you and your professionalism. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. All right, guys, we made it back to the Airbnb after the expo. It was a pretty cool experience again. Uh, we got to walk around, check out a bunch of the boots and stuff, and uh, we started sorting some of the stuff we got. We did buy a couple hundred dollars worth of Kitex since it's such a good deal. It's not on the table when I look at it, but, but uh, about $1,000 of Kitex or what? <laughs> I think it was more than 1000 bucks that's sitting on this table. Bro. Yeah, and then, yeah, pretty much a whole bunch of money just sitting on this table, you know, a bunch of soulmate and things like that, but uh, pretty good. Uh, trip, you know, spent a lot of money and met a lot of people and got to hang out here with the guys uh, if, Like I said, if you guys are interested, uh, I will have a link in the description to their channels and their videos for you guys to go check out uh, You know, if you guys are interested in seeing their experience with this trip and uh, Yeah, so once again guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one